still gonna say it again though. Mm -hmm. I am severely underdressed for this, but that's what we have. So it's been a while since we've done a Q&A and a lot of you love seeing Robin on the channel. So here she is. There's been a lot that's gone on since the last time we've done this. We're actually in a new house. Mm -hmm. This is our bedroom. So um, yes, welcome. <laughs> so we've got actually 11 questions for you guys today. So we're just gonna jump right in. So the first question mm -hmm. is uh, someone asked, just got engaged. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, any marriage advice? Um, well, if you just got engaged, I would say to enjoy the engagement. Everyone around you is rushing. When's the date? When are you getting married? What are you doing? All, like 20,000 questions. And I feel like people rush that they need to get married right away. So first step, enjoy the engagement as much as possible, right? Get yeah. a wedding planner to help if you're doing a bigger wedding. Right, that, that's wedding. I think we covered that in a previous one. Yes. Maybe we'll link that up there. Yes. Um, but But that's marriage. like they just got engaged, so that's right. just like that helps the engagement process, which makes for a happier marriage. Okay, now when they are married, yes. like us, we've been married for a while Almost now. five years. Almost five years yeah. now. I would say my advice to you is to listen and communicate. I am not a great <laughs> Hey, I'm learning. I I'm I just took a Myers Briggs test and I am an INTJ, so I prefer to keep to myself. Um mm -hmm. I keep things in. I'm not a big communicator, but you are. Well, I might be an over communicator, so I think there is the balance of being patient with each other and finding, even if it's not the same communication styles, trying, we're still working through it for us. Is this um, gonna be like a therapy session? I think so, it feels <laughs> like it. Tough first question. Uh, but yeah, find a way to always communicate, not to hold on to things, don't hold grudges. We don't hold grudges on anything. We don't, because we communicate, even if we don't really resolve everything, we're not like, well, six months ago, you said X, Y, and Z, and I'm still mad about it. Like, that's not a part of it, right? Yeah still trying to communicate with her about painting the walls white downstairs but anyway next question okay so a lot of you know that we've moved recently this is a new, new place for us and uh, one of the questions we had was are there any new essential home things that you like and I swear this this was not a plant but this is a really great segue into letting you guys know that this video is sponsored by bowl and branch they make some amazing bedding actually Everything on here right now is is bowl and branch. A lot of people don't think to invest in like quality uh, bedding like this, but I don't know. We we actually we love it. We didn't until like two years ago either. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It isn't something that you think to invest in, but I I swear, like once you do and you feel mm -hmm. how it feels, like mm -hmm. you know, it's like important part of your day. <laughs> um, and it starts your day, ends your day. Yeah, and investing in a, like a quality product that is made well, it feels good, it's comfortable. Your um, wife partner can get the fitted sheet on the mattress without breaking their nails and dislocating <laughs> a shoulder. Yeah, right. Like, like the fitted sheets on other things, like they just never fit this mattress, and for some reason, like this, I just put it right on. Mm -hmm. Through the pillow, zipper sham, just threw that in. I don't have to like shake the pillow and like shove it in there. The other thing I think, like just like clothes too, like if you invest in quality mm -hmm. um, linens like this and bedding. Um, as you wash it, it actually gets better. Yeah. It feels better the more you wash it. And um, linen sheets, I never, we never had them until last year, and I could not believe how much cooler the bed, like, actually was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's getting really warmer nice. now. Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we have pillowcases. Mm -hmm. We have pillow shams. Mm -hmm. We have... A quilted comforter. Quilted comforter, a waffle blanket. And you like the waffle blanket for... This, like, throws me back to, like childhood i feel like everyone had the white waffle blanket this feels like the, it's the same blanket but it has a little bit more texture and design to it I like it. yeah there's the there's adult version <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely love this stuff and definitely uh, would recommend it to you and if you go to their website they have a lot more than just what we've showed you um yes. which showed you <laughs> they have a lot more than we've just shown you thanks again to bowl and branch for sponsoring this video living in a different country if so where italy yeah Italy. Mm -hmm. Where in Italy, though? Let's let's drill down. 
We've traveled Does it a lot. Matter? We've traveled a lot to Italy. We've been to Florence, mm -hmm. Milan, Milano, and Venice, and, and Lake Como. Como. Lake Como. Mm -hmm. So, where would you want to live? I don't know. I've never been to the south of Italy. I don't know that it really matters. If you're in like Tuscany or something, and you're just enjoying the the surroundings, I don't have. I can't say where. I but it would definitely be somewhere in Italy. Yes, agreed. Mm -hmm. All right, next question here is, do you guys help each other buy clothing or tell each other what to do regarding clothing? I would say I, I never tell you what to wear no. or what to buy. Um, I might ask you for an opinion if I'm going to buy something and I'm on the edge about, about it or if it's an investment, I think... I might ask you, not for permission, but like, do you, <laughs> do you like it? Is this, what do you think? I feel like you do the same. Yeah, now see, now see the, the issue becomes when one of us buys something and then we put it on and then mm. go to show the other person. Mm. Um, maybe this falls into the any marriage advice question. <laughs> <laughs> so if your partner puts on something new, See, what I always, what I have trouble with is like, you know, she has great taste and, uh, you know, she doesn't need me to say like, oh, you should get this or you should, there are certain things that I like, but, you know, when she shows me something, sometimes like I can see in her face that she's not sure about it uh, mm. or, or like, and I'm constantly wondering, like, do you need me to like, do you want me to read your mind or do you want me to just tell you? Like honest. it looks good, yeah. Be but honest. sometimes, but sometimes I'm honest, and you're like, oh, like yesterday with the gold boots. Yeah, I'm still keeping them though. Okay, we should show them the gold boots. <laughs> Let's mark that down. <laughs> it's been a while since we've like been out and shopped like together. Yeah, we don't shop together. It's more of like I just show him I bought this. I'm going to buy this. More online shopping, so it's maybe mm -hmm. like the before or after. Like I got this. What do you think? So when you show me something. Mm -hmm. Like, do you want me to say that oh, I that look looks very great? pretty? I always say that. <laughs> I want you to be honest. That's why I'm asking. Okay, but sometimes I am honest, mm -hmm. and and I'll make a decision on whether that matters or not. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> All right, here's a good one here. What's the best way to deal with conflict with your married partner? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um. Always agree with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's always a, a that doesn't that's happen here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, folks, um, <laughs> uh, I I think talking about it and being open and again, like having that line of communication mm -hmm. is really good. Just so you know how they know how you feel, uh, you know how they feel, and then you can take it from there but you have to like establish like that baseline mm -hmm. so you know where both of you are coming from mm -hmm. next question is were you both always interested in fashion depends on how far back yes and no i was a tomboy growing up and then in high school i started to play with clothing a little bit more because i couldn't afford everything so i would like treasure hunt in the like sales racks and the clearance racks to try and put things together and i found a, a new creative outlet for myself so maybe like since 16 but prior to that i was a dirt ball mm -hmm. not dirt ball like dirt just always dirty playing um i didn't care about what i was wearing it was just like utility and then i kind of found a, a groove mm -hmm. i mean i feel like i've answered this question a lot before i'm I've always been conscious of it. My father always dressed really, really well. He always either wore a suit and a tie or like a sport coat. So that I always saw that. And then mm -hmm. of course, you know, it sounds like so cliche, you know, but like really like the original James Bond movies were very influential on me as a, as a kid. My father watched those with me. Um, so, and you know, I was always interested in it. I always knew like how it had a power to sort of like influence how you felt and also influence how people see you mm -hmm. um, but it really wasn't until you know later in life um, when I started actually investing the time in it so but it's always been there but it's only been maybe the last 15 years or mm -hmm. so where I've put like a lot of thought into it 
post the Caesar haircut that you had in your 20s. Caesar haircut? Yeah, you had that little like NSYNC Backstreet Boy yeah. Caesar haircut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you two do as a couple for fun beyond travel? Well, I feel like we haven't traveled we haven't. that much. Not in three years. No. Um, so yeah, what have we done for fun since then? Nothing. <laughs> Watching shows on Hulu or Netflix or HBO. I mean, that sounds so lame, but like, it's, it's, it's like a like thing that we do. Nighttime. Oh, you know what else we do? We watch a Jeopardy in Wheel of Fortune. I'm not kidding. I'm going to be 45. <laughs> <laughs> She's turning. Don't, don't <laughs> say that. I mean, we, well, we, we started doing like weekly date nights. Yes. Yeah. Right? Recently. We started doing mm-hmm. like just going to a bar at a restaurant and sitting or making a reservation at like the early bird time and going <laughs> in before it gets too crowded. But well, now that with the new house, we actually have a backyard, we have a garden, we have a little like patio area. So we have been even just hanging outside and not watching t- like TV that is kind of like mind numbing. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot That's of projects nice. around the house. Mm-hmm. Outside, the, the inside. The dog obviously takes up a lot of our time. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice to have all our, our space now. And like, really, we, we've we've done a lot when you think about it, moving into the house um, nine months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. There was a question, will we be getting a house tour? You know, we and like, this I thing. know, and like, even in the last house, it was like, uh, you know, we just wanted to finish that one thing and then we would do it. But and then we moved. Yeah, and then we moved. So you never got to things. see the old house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so m- maybe, I mean. We could do it in parts. Yeah. And where we keep, instead of waiting for like a full reveal, why don't we do, because the upstairs is going to take a long time to get it to where we want. Like we like the bedroom, we don't like the bathroom. So we can do like main floor, we can show them your studio and then- Yeah, we'll do we'll a studio tour for sure. A, like before and out, a true before and after. Almost upstairs. there with the studio. Yeah. Almost there. So soon. <laughs> soon. Yeah. Part one <clears throat> and two. Okay, next question here. Are you guys planning on having children? No. No? No. And I know like some people might wonder like why I've never wanted them. I, my dreams growing up, I never envisioned another person in my life, but I found him. I never <laughs> pictured like this like like romantic wedding. A lot of little girls like grow up of bed and dream about those things. My focus was always career and um, yeah, just like having a certain feeling and validation coming through career i've always wanted animals i've always wanted these other things but that just wasn't something that was innately like natural for me see i think a lot of people might hear you say like oh i was always into my career um and and that i mean no well that that like i think conjures like a certain image of like you know but like a really cold like driven like don't care yeah Mm -hmm. but but you are like anything but that Mm -hmm. like you care so much about people and family so i love my friends kids mm -hmm. i love my nephews i'm a great aunt to my nephews but i also know myself and i would sean hayes says this on his podcast all the time but so to quote him i'd rather regret not having one day than regret having and that was one thing when we met when you said you didn't want to have kids, it was kind of a weight off my shoulders because mm. dating apps and everything before that, it's like, do I want kids? I don't know. I have to answer this question. Well, then what about religion? Do I care about religion? There were all these questions that I felt kind of um, inauthentic answering. And then when you said you didn't want kids, I was like, Phew. But Then when you said you didn't want a dog, I was like, I got to break well, up with this Well, that's where I was going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I was going to go with this. We, we do have a, a German Shepherd, mm-hmm. which is... Our child. Yeah, but it's it's a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't. I can barely manage that, so I don't. Yeah, I have it's no enough. Idea. Yeah, <laughs> it's not for us. We know ourselves. For if ever we know how much work it takes, it's just not mm-hmm. in our future. Yeah, but what might be in our future? Mm-hmm. The next question: Will you guys get another cat or dog? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not a cat or a dog. Two cats. We're right? going to Rob's lovely wife and daughter are fostering kittens, and we're going to get two kittens this week that one of us is more excited about 
than the other, mm -hmm. but their names will be... Nick and Nora. Yes. See, that's how she sold it to me. I did. Let's just name them after Thin Man characters. <laughs> Strategic. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably love them. Yes. I hope Coco loves them too. Yeah, we did try and adopt a. Ro uh, we tried to rescue a dog earlier in the year, and Coco's health is not totally stable, so it wasn't the right time. So that was kind of a failed adoption, unfortunately. But I think the kittens might be a little bit easier for her. Not as like it's not going to be like hopefully WrestleMania in the house. <laughs> so. Fingers crossed yeah. that you see Nick and Nora on your house tour. Yeah. Yeah. And next year's Christmas card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Moving on now. Does Robin have a watch collection? And there was actually a question that I left out that sort of played into this, but someone asked, Does, do you let Robin borrow your Reverso? I would like to borrow your Rolex, maybe. I like the Rolex. Okay. but That's more like me. But I, do you see? Okay. I have a collection of two watches, mm -hmm. the JJ. I have this that I wear more than I actually thought. I'm not really a watch person because I have a small wrist and the watches just never looked right on me. That's a small. So yeah, I like the small or like oversized men's watch like your, your watch. Mm -hmm. And my great grandfather's Omega Seamaster mm -hmm. that I wear. It doesn't run as well, um, so I actually wear this when I want actual time, but I just have the two. Now I got my reverso engraved. Yes. With a quote mm -hmm. from the Thin Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have aren't you gonna Aren't you gonna get yours? I don't know what I want yet. I have commitment issues, and that has not been figured out yet. You have commitment issues. Mm -hmm. hmm. Used to. Didn't know about that. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so that's actually a good place to to end. I think. That's it. That's it. That's it. But. What I'm curious about is what people think, what people, our viewers, think that you should get on your, okay. the back of your, what should you get engraved in your reverse out? Well, let's not keep it too open-ended. Maybe, like, should it be... Just some suggestions. Sentimental. Right. It could be a quote. It could be um, a monogram. It can be a picture. Can it be a picture of something? Like I don't, an etch like I don't an, know. I mean, it probably could. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like they can like sketch. The a... only thing you can't get on that is enamel. Yeah, but you can get like a sketching of like Coco's face mm -hmm. if I wanted to. Her name. That's what I'm. I'm not sure about. Is it like a quote? Is it someone's initials? Is it a date? I'm not sure what to put on there. Anyway, help us out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyway, want to thank Bowl and Branch once again for sponsoring today's video, and you can see the lovely bedding that we have from Bowl and Branch nice. back there yes. one more time. So. Again, thanks again, and we'll be back here another time, and I'm terrible at finishing these off. <laughs> that's it. And that's it. Coco! Oh. <laughs> yes, mommy, daddy. Careful. Coco, come here. <gasps> oh, it's a big dog. Come on. <laughs> Coco. Fluffy. Hi. Coco, come here. What do you here. think of the bed? Oh. What do you think of the bed? Let me kiss. Do you like it? Oh. Coco? Are you a good dog? Are you gonna <laughs> I think it's I think it's time to go. <laughs>